Welcome back to Let's Play Flower Sun and Rain, part 23. Apparently we're on Eliki Island now. And we need to uh, go inside. Help me. Uh, where are we going? It looks like somewhere to go. to hug the building until I find what's meant to be the door. Oh, hello. Is that where we need to go? It looks very menacing, man. Oh. I need power creates electricity free. Nice. That I'm on down. Psychological warfare. Alrighty. Cypher psychology. asking for two numbers. I don't actually know what those numbers are. Are you gonna give me hints, game? Or are you just gonna say, here's numbers, solve them? Okay. Hint, hint, hint. Cypher Psychology. There's a bit about... That's not it. Psychology. Anything with numbers. So. We have 257. Uh, 721. Seven flowers, twin suns, umbrella. Okay, number three. Count of ten, the plague messenger. Eight. Two of the diner, we also picked up eight more. So, ten. Seventeen. Twelve, eleven. Okay. I want to find a beautiful shell to take back to your partner in your distant homeland. You give two shells every three steps and toss one into the sea every five steps. After walking down to you fifty steps. Okay, so two shells every three steps. Do some math here. Fifty divided by three is uh, one sixteen. That gives me forty-eight. So, oh, and only pick up forty-eight shells, and you toss one in the sea every five steps. So we ditch ten. So you have thirty-eight. Okay. Question five. Okay, six people have ordered cheesecake, and we only have one 20 centimeter diameter cake left. Could you help me work out the exact angle to cut in order to give each person the same size piece? Okay. Very well, happily agreeing to help. So divide one cheesecake evenly, he wants an angle, so 360 divided by 6 is 60. 6. Alarm clock by the bed. 
there are three buttons used to set it. Hour, ten minutes, and one minute. So let's set to 7.50. You press the left button three times. So, 10.50. And you press the uh, middle button four times. And you press the right button twice, so 11.32. Alright, now I guess it's just a matter of, uh, let's plug in and see what this is asking. Oh wait, you take a yellow jack. Oh, how ironic. Eh? Oh. Uh, oh, I get it, I get it. When you're pressing the 10 minute button, it doesn't... It doesn't... Alarm clocks, they don't automatically loop back up to the next hour. They just go back to zero. So it'd be 10.32. Not 11.32. Now I'm standing and wondering if anything I said these past two minutes actually made any sense. Okay. That's your clue. Psychology. Oh, they're numbered. How handy. I'm glad I noticed that. So six is set. So really, oh my god, what is happening? Why can't I go around you? So six is set. That is now three, I believe. Oh, there you go. Cypher psychology, 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 psychology. Go, Catherine. So the answer to number three is eleven. Well, it should be eleven. Stab. Score. That's actually a really nifty clue. What they did for this section. I can appreciate that. Even though everything is consulting the guidebook. Okay, number two. Get used to this. You should be used to this if you're still actually watching this LP, though. So. Stab. This one gets... Seven, two, one. All right. Tower number two. Hopefully, start. Stop. Thank you. Move on to number one. This one's asking for 257. <clears throat> Almost there. So two more left. Four and five. Where the bloody heck am I? And let's go to four first. 
4 gets 38, 5 gets 60. Hello, I'd like to plug in the 4, please. Hello, thank you, thank you, thank you. Cyber Psychology Psychology! Mystery, 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 Catherine, go! Do this. It's 38. Four does not get 38. Where did, where did the 38 come from? I don't know where the 38 came from. We'll come back to it. Most definitely five. Unless I somehow got my numbers backwards. answer I came up with for four is wrong. Which means I need to rethink my math. Come on. shows every three steps, and you toss one into the sea every five steps. You pick up two shells and you drop one. I'm an idiot. I came up with the number 48 as the number of uh, time shells you pick up, but that's actually the number of times you'd pick up two shells. So uh, you double that, you get 96. Subtract the 10 shells you toss, you get 86. Well, let's cross my fingers. No. Crap! Damn it. 96 sounds way too much. I, okay, I don't. Oh, eh, uh, eh, uh, eh, uh, err. Uh. You think about how many. <laughs> how I came up with those numbers again, actually. How did I even come up with a 38? Take 50 steps total. Every three steps you pick up two shells. It means 16 times you'd be stopping to pick up two shells. It means you'd have 32 shells. Every five steps you talk, you ditch a shell. 
so that's 10 shells, you ditch. So, it should be 22. I no clue how I came up with those first two numbers. I am very confident in this answer now. I don't know what I was on earlier. Yes! I is puzzle solving. Now, this should be the end of the day. I mean, hell, we just solved six story, six story puzzles in a row. Oh, yeah, it's the plane blowing up music. Stop going blue. Time for the plane to blow up. Whew. Okay, meanwhile, what's Toriko doing? She's gonna meet Ken, isn't she? She needs to meet someone from our past adventures. Hurry up and find her damn alligator. Hey, that's a car. Oh, Power Beach. Hey, it's Chris. And Chris is turning in circles again. She's, she's chasing her own tail. Why? Lord only knows why. Hey, Ken. Oh, thanks, Ken. Staying. Where you staying? And Ido has to say. Welcome back. Oh, adventure to Eliki Island. You look worn out. There's no way to get around on this island. Well, running around, after all. We'll be running a lot more in upcoming chapters, too. Have some trivia. Those pylons are called Elikings. To it for Electronic Kingdom, not what you were thinking, was it? I should be winning with a smile on the front desk. Of course you will. We'll go on next time.